federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted material without the permission of the copyright holder. When you think of all the information that's out there, videos, articles, documentaries, you name it, telling the truth about the Watchtower, telling what this religion is really all about, you would think that more Jehovah's Witnesses would wake up. Yes, there are a lot. The numbers are showing more and more Jehovah's Witnesses are leaving every year. But still, the majority of them, they're still in. So why are they still in? Well, the main reason is because they are deeply, deeply indoctrinated. And that's why they're still in. I will never forget a long time ago. I remember the year. It was 2002, as a matter of fact. By accident, I was still a Jehovah's Witness back then. I left in 2006. So, for some reason, by accident, I was browsing something, Jehovah's Witnesses, I guess, online. And I landed on an apostate site. And I really got frightened. It is not normal for anyone in any religion to get frightened, to almost shake, just because you landed on a site that you know is speaking against your religion. This is absolutely not normal. I see it now. This is not a normal behavior. But this is how I reacted. Why did I react this way? Well, because I was fully indoctrinated into believing that what I was exposed to, just for a few seconds, I didn't even read anything, but what I was exposed to was evil. And the reason the average Jehovah's Witness believes this, it's because he's fully indoctrinated that anything that is outside of being a Jehovah's Witness is evil. And the little clip that I'm going to discuss with you today, which is a clip from one of the videos that will be shown at the regional convention 2018, is showing exactly that. How the Watchtower is indoctrinating people, Jehovah's Witnesses, into believing that Whoever is not a witness has to be bad. So let's watch the clip first and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Hi. Would you like to make a donation to the marathon? Um, no, thank you. Shall I put it in the bag or do you want to wear it now? Uh, no, thank you. What's wrong, honey? You got something against them? Well, no, I, I don't have anything against them personally. So what's the problem? I respect that they have a right to choose their lifestyle, but as a Bible reader... Excuse me! I'm a Bible reader too. I go to church, and our church is one of the biggest supporters for this marathon. So what are you trying to say? Displaying courage now will help me display courage in the future. Well. I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and we believe the Bible teaches sex is for a man and a woman who are married. Intolerant people. So first 
first of all, if you noticed, when the cashier, the store employee, is asking if she wants to give a donation for the marathon, that young Jehovah's Witness woman says no. She doesn't even know what it is. She just says no. So if you're not a Jehovah's Witness, this is a good opportunity for you to understand once and for all that Jehovah's Witnesses do not support any type of movement, any type of support for anything. They just don't. It does not matter if it's good, if it has nothing to do against the Bible, they just don't. The only cure that this world can ever have for a Jehovah's Witness, and that's again, that's part of the indoctrination. Because she could give a donation, there's no governing body member behind her or even an elder seeing her, okay? She's alone there. So she could use her mind and let's say it's not what it is in the clip, okay? Because that's another story. But let's say it's something that is absolutely not bad in any way, shape or form, not even against the Bible. She would say no. And she says no because the only cure for a Jehovah's Witness to any disease, any problem of this world is God's kingdom and this is going to cure everything so for some reason and i don't know where this really comes from where this uh teaching really is based on we know many teachings of jehovah's witnesses are actually not based on the bible as they say it is so the teaching here is that because god's kingdom is going to fix everything there is no need now to help any cause. And that is truly, completely stupid for one thing. And it is part of the indoctrination of the Jehovah's Witness. Because if they thought for themselves, which they are not used to, not because they are stupid, I'm not trying to insult Jehovah's Witnesses here, but just because they are so indoctrinated of thinking inside of the box all the time that they can't think outside of the box at all, most of them anyway. So let's say it's a good cause. It's just feeding people, for example, nothing against the Bible whatsoever. This witness would still say no. She is not going to support it. Just because, just because that's what she was taught. There is no logical reason for it if she really wanted to contribute, but just because. Just because she was taught by the men, the governing body members, that we just don't. We just don't support any cause, anything, even if there is nothing wrong with it, even if it's not linked to a church, whatever, we just don't. And you know, by indoctrinating their members this way, the governing body is assuring that they won't spend their extra money into some other causes and they'll give more to them, to their organization. That's just my thought on it, but I'm using my own brain to think with my own head, and that's why I came up with that. If Jehovah's Witnesses would think more on their own, they might come to the same conclusion with this one. So eventually she finds out, what is that marathon about? It's about gay women. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. You know, there is something that the Watchtower really wants to indoctrinate their members with. And it's, it's a hatred of gay people. And even though the young lady here, the young Jehovah's Witness says, I have nothing against them personally. Actually, she says the truth right there. You know, 
Personally, many Jehovah's Witnesses would have nothing against gay people, but they are certainly well indoctrinated into disliking them quite a bit. And in that regard, it's not only Jehovah's Witnesses, I know that there are many other religions definitely that feel the same. And it's because that's what religion does to people. But anyhow, Jehovah's Witnesses are definitely not the last one in the matter of uh, really making sure their members have a very, very negative feeling towards gay people. And that's why when you are a Jehovah's Witness and you are gay, your misery has no end until you leave this cult. And I've listened to many different experiences of such Jehovah's Witnesses that were gay. It's already very difficult, as I hear, to grow up in this religion. Thankfully, I did not myself grow up in there, but from what I heard, it's tough. So imagine growing up in a religion that hates gay people if you are yourself gay, that must be really bad. Now, did you see the facial reaction of the cashier of the store employee? This is so unrealistic. This will just not happen in life. I worked in a big store years ago. Believe me, we don't do that, you know? Nobody cares. The, the cashier, the store employee does not care if the clients accept or not the invitation to give a donation. They don't care and they're certainly not going to make any type of face. But why does the watchtower want you to believe that such thing could happen? Well, because it's part of the indoctrination. You know, you need to understand that that person is not a witness and she's got to have a negative reaction to the fact that you said no. When in real life, this would just not happen. The person would most likely not care if you say yes or no because the donation is not for them. They're not even concerned by it whatsoever. But like I said, again, this is part of the indoctrination process. As for the reaction of the woman who starts yelling and asking the Jehovah's Witness if she has a problem, this is so unlikely. This would just not happen. This is so made up. But the problem is, what's so sad about this, is that so many Jehovah's Witnesses are going to watch this fiction thinking that it's a logical, a probable, realistic scenario, when it is really not. The chances that such a thing would really happen in real life are close to none. But because the governing body knows how to indoctrinate those people, who already are so indoctrinated, so they have a tendency to believe stuff that a normal person who's not indoctrinated would not believe. So remember that. They're already indoctrinated. They are going to believe that this is a probable scenario. And again, why does the Watchtower does that? Because they want Jehovah's Witnesses believe that people outside of their organization, outside of their religion, are evil. And that is very sad. But that's the reason why Jehovah's Witnesses are so indoctrinated. And even though there are so much information out there, for them to wake up, for them to have no doubt, no doubt left that this is a crappy religion that has nothing to do with the truth. But they are so indoctrinated because when you get this type of message year in and year out, 
in the written form and now in videos. You are going to believe it. You are going to be in your bubble because don't forget Jehovah's Witnesses are in a bubble. You, you are in your bubble and you believe that those men are giving you spiritual food and you're actually believing that what you're seeing is actually true. That is very, very, very sad indeed. So there is no wonder why the average Jehovah's Witness would react like I did many years ago when I landed on an apostate site, trembling, being so nervous of just having landed on a site that I knew was speaking against my religion. There is no wonder why the average Jehovah's Witness feels this way. Because he or she is so indoctrinated into believing that whatever is outside this bubble, this religion, is evil. And if this is not the sign of a sect, of a cult, I don't know what is. This is the sign, the perfect sign, a strong sign of a cult. When you believe that your cult is that special place that is the only place on earth that's safe and that everything else outside and everybody else outside is dangerous and evil. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like it, share it, comment. And as always, I see you on my next video. Bye-bye now.